Welcome back to Chili Devs, and I'm back to another video. I'd like to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about crypto from time to time. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get my frequent updates. Well, today uh, we want to talk about Nvidia again because Nvidia bounced back over eight percent after being down. Uh, it was a phenomenal day for NVIDIA and some other chip stocks. Um, but on Monday, uh, NVIDIA got its lowest $116 per share. And if you follow my uh, community board here, you'll see that yesterday uh, NVIDIA got down very low. So let's take a look at uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday, NVIDIA was down 5%, uh, and the day before it was down low, and let's see here, I think, do, do, do. here it is, NVIDIA after hours on yesterday was as low as $116 per share, and people feared that that was it, you know, the stock was crashing, uh, but the stock rebounded today, up over 8%. So if we look at today's numbers, today the shares of NVIDIA hit a uh, hit a height of 8% and a gain of $95 in its portfolio. Also close behind was uh, Microsoft up 0.64. Uh, Google or Alphabet was up 2.83 and Apple was up as well on today. So those were some uh, hot stocks in my portfolio. Now I'd like to go over to the news. Okay, here we are on CNBC. And some of the news says here, AI data center boom is coming. Jeffries analyst says naming top stocks to buy. Okay, and that's by Jeffries. Uh, so that was earlier today. Um also, Rivian secures up to $5 billion from Volkswagen. Shares soar over uh, 50%. So uh, Rivian gets a, a, a capital injection from Volkswagen, and they'll be uh, partnering on many EV-type technologies. So that is good news for Rivian. So if you're an EV holder of Rivian, uh, great news today. No one knows when that $5 billion will be injected, but this will be over a course of the next five or so years that that $5 billion will be injected. Uh, what else do we have? Tesla recalls Cybertruck to fix faulty windshield wipers and loose trim. Okay, so this is the first full year of the cyber truck being released so you're going to have a lot of recalls probably uh minor stuff but nonetheless it's the first year this cyber truck is released uh nvidia's half a trillion dollars wipeout leaves a global chip stock volatile so as i mentioned on yesterday the stock fell and people you know said is this the end for nvidia no, it is not. Okay, I really still believe that NVIDIA is a stock that will double. There's price targets as high as $200 per share or even higher. Okay, because NVIDIA uh, will be an integral part of, of generative AI and inference AI. Okay, so whether it's hardware or software, NVIDIA will be there. All right, and then in some other news, uh, we have Waymo opens robo taxi service to all San Francisco users. Now, Waymo is in spotted different places around the country. Uh, I know they're in Phoenix or Chandler, Arizona, because I used to live there. Uh, but now the whole city of San Francisco will have a robo taxi at their call through either a smartphone app or similar service. Okay. So it says Alphabet-owned Waymo has opened RoboTax to all San Francisco users, the company said on Tuesday. 
Uh, this service operates for all in the Phoenix area, as I mentioned, and it's available in limited capacity in Los Angeles and Austin, Texas. It's basically driverless, but it's uh, based off LiDAR technology, uh, very different from the Tesla technology used. Uh, so it says here, driverless vehicles face some public backlash in recent months following collisions and other accidents. Okay. And they've been testing this out for five or six years now. So this is not necessarily new. Uh, they had this back in 2017 when I was in Arizona. Okay, it says Waymo's RoboTabs are now open to all San Francisco users, expanding the self-ride hailing service. Now, the reason why I mention this is because all these uh, driverless RoboTaxi companies such as Waymo and Tesla real soon will be competing now, in China, they've already allowed it in some big cities such as Beijing and Shanghai. So just imagine now, if China gets ahead of us, uh, you know, that, that would be hard to beat in driverless EV, right? So um, China is releasing theirs. And so now we're seeing select places in the United States. And if if they can get this right, if people can start trusting uh, driverless taxis or the robo taxi, then Elon Musk can put his plan into play. Okay, because remember, Tesla has uh, possible insurance plans coming out in the state of California. And if they can get it right, then, you know, Elon Musk can have his robo taxi on the road in the next 12 to 18 months. Okay, so that's exciting news to see a company such as Waymo, Google, get theirs. Uh, out into a major city such as San Francisco. That means they have enough proven data and records to get the people of San Francisco, the officials there, to approve this, okay? So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks with Waymo operating in all of San Francisco. All right, so we'll go over to my Robin Hood real quick. Okay, as you can see, it was a nice record day, up 2% for a gain of $73 in his portfolio. Looks like everything bounced back. Uh, of course, we had Friday and Monday, uh, things went down, and then today, things bounced back. So we saw uh, Friday, uh, let's see, yeah, this is Friday. Things kind of dropped off. And then Monday, things dropped off. And then today, things bounced back, okay? So again, nice bounce back after being down last week, closing out the week down 1%. Today, up 2% on the positive news with uh, companies like NVIDIA and Apple and Tesla. Okay, so as I go through my stocks here, um, You can see here, let's see. What do we have here, okay? All right, so like I said, some of the hot stocks were Google up 2.72%. Um, Snapchat was up 7%. Uh, CMG, Chipotle Grill. Okay, Chipotle Grill, which will be having a stock split later this month, um, was up over 2.82% today, okay? And I'm up a little over 100% in this uh, position. Uh, double my money on Chipotle Grill. Now, remember, the stock was split, uh, I believe, 50 ways. Right now, the stock is trading at $3,200. So the stock will roughly trade at $60 per share uh, after the split. Okay, so you can either buy now or buy later. Either way, the stock will be splitting pretty soon. Okay, so uh, they left this little note. Uh, some transactions will be delayed, but remember... 
two stocks split this much this month uh chipotle grill and broadcom okay so let's take a look at uh ticker symbol avgo and i believe this is another ai type stock um that i believe okay look overnight it is up one percent so it's like flat and over this last week it's down over 15 percent but again broadcom will split on july 15th okay so the shares will split and probably re they'll probably split on the 15th and then reopen on the 17th if 15th is a Friday or so, then they'll reopen trade on that following Monday. Okay. So again, uh, Broadcom was up after hours, uh, 1% today. But again, remember, this is all uh, leading up to the split coming on July 15th. Okay. All right. So that's Broadcom. And again, the top stock day, NVIDIA, we, we'll take a quick look at the chart. Because uh, I just like looking at the chart, seeing it bounce back, you know, from a low of $115 per share all the way up to $128 per share. So that's pretty cool that NVIDIA dropped, jumped over 15, over almost $15 a share from $115 all the way up to $128 per share. That was sweet. Like I said, if you bought in on Monday, you'd have made a huge chunk of money. Money coming back today, up over one twenty-eight a share, a little over eight percent. All right, so that was the big news today. Nvidia bouncing back after the fall, and real quickly we'll go over to my other portfolio just to see. Okay, finally, we're in my Charles Schwab account. And as you can see today, the top performing stock here was NVIDIA up 2.53. But closely behind was NVIDIA up 7.73% for a gain of $80. Again, if you invested $10,000 in NVIDIA, an 8% move would be about $800. So that's still pretty good considering the stock was down on Friday and was down on Monday, okay? So you'd have got a nice bounce back had you invested on Friday or Monday, an 8% return nearly, 7.73%, uh, okay? Uh, uh, also, as I mentioned earlier, Alphabet was up 2.72%, and Apple was hanging in there holding gains, and Palantir Technologies was up 1.86%. So those were the top stocks. Again, NVIDIA, only because I hold 48 shares. Uh, was it greater in terms of cash? But NVIDIA was the top stock in terms of percentage hold, okay? So uh, remember, tomorrow is NVIDIA's uh, annual shareholders meeting on August 26th. So there'll be talking about the Blackwell chip and future uh, moves by NVIDIA, new products and services coming for the future. So again, check out investor.nvidia.com under events and check out this annual review. And also there'll probably be a uh, webcast of some form or presentation on tomorrow. Okay, so that's it. I wanna thank you for watching.